Hello everyone, welcome back to Enigmatica 6 Expert, episode 12. Uh, as you saw there, I finished making all of these guys. The most difficult part was probably the laser because we had to make one of these. I ended up making two because it's easier to make uh, two at once rather than one at a time. The reason this one was expensive, I, I think we went through this already, but it's the Tesla coil, you need to make HV capacitors, MV capacitors, LV capacitors. It needs a bucket of um, acid, no, etching acid, and also fluid cells. So I had to end up making 16 LV capacitors in order to make eight MV capacitors, in order to make four HV capacitors, in order to make two Tesla coils, in order to make two energizing rods. Uh, the good thing is the quest, if we look at power, once I make the energizing orb, and I've, I made two of these guys, so you need two of them, you get two more. So I'll get um, two free basic rods out of this, which is good. This is pretty straightforward to make. I have all of the ingredients. Uh, maybe not. I think I have ceramic tiles. That's just mild, isn't it? Yeah, anyway. <clears throat> but I have this hooked up now. It's it's connected to the uh, the pressure. So we should be able to start using it. I have it set so I have a, a chest here, which is our input chest next to the import uh, unit. And I have another, uh, not chest, barrel, which is our output next to the export. So these guys should pick up from here, put it onto there, and then the laser and the drill should work. Um, so I'm going to quickly test it out. I want to make a furnace generator, which is um, a bunch of brass. So we need to make, uh, the flywheel is 32 brass ingots and then the, the furnace generator itself is a brass block. So let's make both of those right now, just to make sure that it actually does what it's supposed to do. I don't have any speed upgrades in here, which means it's gonna go super duper slow. <laughs> I think I have some speed upgrades actually. I have other, uh, I've got four, that'll do. I have other speed upgrades. We rem remember we put them in the, the input for the pressure chamber. Oh yeah, that's very slow. Okay, let's put four in. That should speed it up a little bit. Running. Is it running? It says it's running. We have everything. Is it actually running or it does it just doesn't have animation or what's going on? We have pressure. It says everything is there. Does it not like these things being so far away? Hmm, okay, it didn't like it being that way, so I swapped it around, but I think what I might do actually is swap the input and the drills around because I really want this to be at the back because I don't want this to be showing. Uh, yeah, okay, that worked. Uh, let me try swapping these guys around and we'll see how that goes. Okay, I think that works. We can put the chest one extra block away and then it'll put it there and then the drill and then, uh, oh, there's no, there's no laser needed for this one and then output and it should go into that chest over there there we go all right that's better it looks better with the the platform in the front and this guy at the back anyway okay so we have that that's going to be useful i'm going to install this um over here it's going to replace our uh our fan here um i'm going to put it over here not right at this very moment. I'll do that um, maybe between episodes or something. Um, or maybe, I don't know. Oh, I can't put it. Oh, you, you got to put it down on a... You got to put it on a furnace, right? Okay. We'll worry about that later. But right now, what we really want to do... Actually, the other thing I was going to do... This is where I'm going to install this guy. This little section here. It's four wide, which is kind of a shame because I actually want it to be... Three. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, that's also going to happen later because right now we are going to do what we've been waiting for, or what I've been waiting for at least, which is uh, draw controllers. We have everything we need. 
Um, oh, I had to make some of these things. Let me collect these quests first. What do we got? Oh, I just made that. That's great. Oh, it gave us a blast furnace. Uh, I had to make the LV capacitor. I also had to make H okay. I had to make the HV capacitors as well. I guess that didn't count. Um, yeah, I made diesel and lubricant and fluid mixer. And yes, we made this thing as well. And we made the program. Um, so yeah, we should be able to make this now. I think the thing that we're missing is, uh, yeah, we need to make some capacitors, CPU stuff. Okay, there's a bit to do before we can get to that. But that's not what we're here for today. What well, today we are here for draw controllers. So I now finally have everything in place that I need to make these guys. And this will really open up our ability to automate things. Um, I want to see if it's possible to make around eight <laughs> because we need quite a lot. So we need 16 smart chests, 16 logic units and eight machine frames. So logic units are relatively cheap. Uh, that's just some stuff in here. Treated wood planks and circuit back planes, all quite straightforward. Smart chests need some more printed circuit boards and some reinforced chests. Straightforward-ish. This guy is a rough machine frame in our uh, assembly machine, which is this guy. So invar plates, easy. Uh, RF tools machine bases, uh, relatively easy. I think we have enough of these from quest rewards. This one is slightly trickier. We need some molten plastic. Um, not that difficult. The tricky thing here is the temperature. But actually, uh, one of the other things I was going to mention, I made um, over here is uh, instead of using a vortex, what were we using before? Vortex something or other. Uh, I made a fuel wood heater. This thing is like ridiculously efficient. I put in a bit of coal and it easily gets you to 16,000 degrees. Um, so yeah, that's doable. <clears throat> and that's pretty much everything I think. Uh, we needed this. Uh, yeah, I said that was easy. We gotta make this. That's uh, machine frames. Okay, yeah, I think we have everything that we can uh, make the draw controllers, I think. What did we get for quests? Some stuff, liquid hopper, Kenaf fiber. Oh, we got a drone. Uh, okay. Oh, we got a smart chest. There's one less I have to do. <laughs> um, okay. All right. So let me get started with, um, I'll put this in here, making the draw controllers. I think we should be able to get eight done. Um, so let's see how we go. Okay, that's two. The rest are uh, going. So I'll just leave those and let's make the first couple. Uh, I've got everything here. So this should be draw controller. Oh boy, this is exciting. So we should be able to make two of these until we get more machine frames. But I have everything else ready to go. If that's not a quest. That is a quest. <laughs> uh, and oh, I don't know if I have any drawers. Let's see. No. Okay. Oak drawer. Oh man. I'm gonna have to do this manually. Okay. I have a bunch of baskets. Uh, oh, I do have oak. I'm not going to use them all because I want to get the upgrades and stuff too. So let's just do the 16 that we'll need. Oh wait, I got to make plants first. What? Why is that a quest? Or task? Okay. There. Oh wait, not 16. We needed eight. Oh well. <laughs> okay. There's two draw controllers. Fantastic. This is going to open up so many possibilities for us. Uh, okay, let's get all these quests. Draw controller. And what else did we get? Oh, a factory hopper. Oh, actually, yeah, let me show you. I'm gonna, I uh, had a bit of time while all that stuff was processing, so I did something. Logic unit, huh? Uh, yeah, we started that guy. 
Um, yeah, so as I mentioned before, up here is where. Oh, that looks weird. Let me see. Yeah, the up, because it's exactly the same layout. <laughs> anyway, up here is where I was going to put the um, furnace generator. So I wanted to get some um, uh, logs. And you can kind of see here. Okay, this is already full. But um, you can kind of see where they're coming from, right? They're coming from up there. So if we go up, all the way up, I have this tree farm up here. Um, I did it like this because this seemed like the easiest way to get things uh, down. The <laughs> Because, you know, I could just like drop them down the giant chute rather than building them like... Because the this is kind of far through the mountain. I didn't want to have to like dig through uh, the mountain to get a, a pipe through or something. I don't know. Maybe it's not a good idea, but that's what I thought. I also thought, hey, like, you know, just into an open crate, into a water stream, and then drop it down the hole. Because this hole, I wanted to dig it into the mountain a little bit. But this uh, water stream is actually not a good way of doing it. Because if you look at uh, spruce wood, well, not just spruce wood, but any kind of wood, actually. Oh, there goes some. They just dropped down. I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These trees are so huge, you get like hundreds and hundreds of logs from each tree, and it goes pretty quick too. Um, anyway, yeah, what was I saying? If you go to spruce wood, if you look at here, spruce wood into water turns into driftwood logs. Uh, maybe it's because I do 16 at a time. Uh, but yeah, there seems to be a chance that they do that. They turn into driftwood, which is really not what I want. And the other problem is, there's a 0.5% chance that it would consume the water. So, uh, yeah, you can see some of them are turning into driftwood, like, instantly. Um, I can probably get around the water consuming by putting a, a source block there and a source block there, and it would just, like, regenerate if, if that happened. But the fact that it turns into driftwood is really annoying. Like, um, it's a lot of driftwood. It, it's, like, maybe two spruce planks to or two spruce logs to every driftwood from what i could gather but that's still i don't know i mean driftwood is okay it does all the same stuff in terms of like smelting but it's still kind of not great so i'm gonna fix that i think i'm gonna have to use belts or something um, but yeah i thought i was being smart but it turns out i was not that smart um but i want to put this one over here so this one is going to be our main wall of uh like this kind of storage so i'm uh, thinking i uh, put it here and then we can access it easily from uh from the the xnet the other one i'm going to do is it's going to well actually i can't do it just yet because i don't have the drawers but it's going to go over here this is where we're going to put our storage for all of our um, plant stuff i have uh blackberries now because they make uh, black dye easily but i might not keep them there because we have we'll have other ways of getting black dye uh, anyway and then uh also nether wart i've added uh, a little bit of space in there for nether wart we're gonna get rid of the all of this uh, we don't need this much wheat so we'll put other stuff in there over time as we need more things um oh i also i i did clean up in here a bit more and you can see i put a roof on and i've kind of finished most of the steel stuff around here um, so yeah, it's looking okay. Um, I still have more of these uh, curvy bits to do, so not all of those ones are filled in, like you can see over there and up on the second floor as well. Uh, but over time, I'll do those. And this one here is aluminium sheet metal, so I need to get more aluminium to, in order to do that. Uh, we should be able to make... Yeah, these should be finished now. Okay, so let's make the rest of the draw controllers while we have them. Uh, yeah, and uh, first we're gonna make this. Let's put these in here. Oh, come on, machine frames. There we go, six. I don't have enough aluminium sheet metal to make the sixth one. <laughs> oh well. Um, so the other thing I was going to do, so actually down here, I have dug out all of this area too. This is like right underneath our, uh, our area. So it's like five blocks below. I was going to put like bulk storage of stuff down here too. 
Um, but it's not, there's no point just yet until we actually have uh, refined storage because accessing this thing through pretty pipes is kind of annoying. So I'm not going to do that just yet. Um, yeah, I think what we're going to do now, now that we have that, I think um, the bees and stuff, I'll do that off camera. That's kind of not that exciting. I think what I'm going to do now is uh, get this working better. So actually have something other than this factory hopper. Um, we'll get some void upgrades here and I'll try and figure out what we're going to do about the driftwood coming out. I think, um, actually let me go up there. Oh, it's night time. I should probably sleep first. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to do something about this water. I think I'm gonna get some um, create belts and just like bring it down and then drop them off into the hole via the belts uh, Because yeah, then we don't have to worry about the driftwood. Uh, I thought the water thing I, the idea was really smart <laughs> All right, so it turns out you could put a funnel directly there and it'll just plop stuff out really quickly So yeah, uh, it's it's actually quite fast. So this is just running off a fan with a campfire, and the maximum you can do is 32, it seems. So um, yeah, I just have it dropping it off down there. It's doing basically the same as the water, but now it'll never have to run out. Uh, let me encase some of this back up. I don't know. There's no real reason why it needs to be encased back up. And I guess we don't technically need access to that, but let's do it anyway. I'll put a torch there. Yeah, there we go. So it's dropping them off there. And we don't have to worry about it turning into driftwood anymore. Maybe using a draw uh, controller is overkill for this. Oh, it's already full. <laughs> I have a storage five upgrade. This was a quest reward. So I'm going to put that there. So we get huge amounts of spruce logs. Uh... Yeah, so that should go up around about half a stack at a time because I have it set to half a stack here. All right, and then there sh we could just toss the driftwood because that's not useful anymore. All right, okay, let's move it somewhere where we're not going to care about it. All right, now let me set up the furnace generator here and we're going to need some XNet stuff to automate it. Um, so yeah, let's get that going. So, I have this here. Uh, I'm going to dig through here so that it looks like it pokes through a little bit. Um, and also we're going to have to dig out some of these blocks. Like it doesn't actually stop it from spinning, but it just, I think it looks better if you can, if you can see it spinning. Anyway, um, we need power for this guy. And I think the best thing to do is to start work on solar panels because those are passive power. Um, in order to make sol solar panels, as you can see, I've already kind of started. Um, we can just make even this one to start off with. The main problem is this thing needs uh, energized steel, which is not that difficult. Frost steel and electrum in an energizer. Um, but that means we got to actually build the energizing orb. So yeah, it's uh, time to get into this. Let me put some of this stuff away. Uh, I'll keep that. This one can go in my backpack. All right. So yes, the energizing orb. Uh, we need, what do we need? Crystal glass, which I have black ceramic tile slabs and a machine frame. All right, let me get that and we'll, we can uh, make that. Uh, okay, I think it's uh, black slabs there. Up to, oh, not that one. That one is the machine frame. And then crystal glass. Uh, and then, this is not going to be around for long. We'll be able to get rid of these soon. We can turn that on. That freezer. We can slow things down. Okay, now I should craft it up. Okay, 
there's the orb. Is that what it's called? Energizing whatever. Uh, then we can turn those back on, speed it back up. Okay, so that means we get two more of these guys. Uh, the thing that we want now is they need power. Um, I find the... Uh, except, okay, we can't make this. We can't make these energy cells, I don't think. No, until we have that. Okay, so the easiest way will be a universal cable. And... Uh, even just one, I guess, would do. <laughs> uh, I could just, actually, maybe I'll just break into here. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. There we go. Uh, and I'll put you like that, and I'll put just one, like so, and then you there. So eventually this is going to move over to here, once we have decent power. Um, do I have any frost steel? I do. I actually also have um, a frosty bee. I found this in the under garden. They're just like flying around, so I can get lots of frost steel. And the other one was Electrum. I think there's Electrum Bees too, yeah. But that's okay. <clears throat> we just have to manually make a few of these to begin with. And then we can get it a bit more automated. So there. And that should do it. Yeah, there we go. And it'll be very slow. <laughs> uh, how are we doing for power here? Okay, that's okay. Okay. There we go. All right, let me make a few of these uh, and then we'll be able to get this uh, set up more uh, better. Okay, this is um, super simple uh, automation. We have uh, an extraction module here. We have a stack limiter here set to one and another extraction here. So the output goes into there. So this will extract one item of each type and stick it in there. It's not good for most or many of the recipes here, but it's good enough so that I can just like set and forget a bunch of energized steel at least. Uh, okay, so let's put that away and let's go back to solar panel. I'm just going to do the basic for now. We could also do this one. This one is um, a bunch more energized steel. Actually, maybe it is kind of cheaper. Uh, yeah, maybe we should do that, but let's just do this for now. Um, uh, yeah, actually I will do that. I think I need to make a bunch of, uh, basic capacitors anyway. I don't think I have any left. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's do that and flip those ones around and, oh, we got 16. Okay. Never mind. Um, dielectric casing is what it's called yeah uh what are those things oh black ceramic tiles okay we're going to need a lot of that stuff <laughs> so that's that oh that's another quest we get a few more from the quest and then i think um oh wait it doesn't want me to i won't get a quest until i make this guy Uh, I'm not going to bother with the quest then. <laughs> I'm just going to make this thing. Um, so, okay, let me make a bunch more of these. Oh, actually, how much plastic do I have? Ah, 16. Okay, we're going to have to get into plastic. I think the next episode we're going to uh, automate the plastic production. Renewable. Okay, there's a hardened solar panel. And the other thing we want is the ender lens. Is that what it's called? Yes. So we want photoelectric paint plus an eye of ender. A photoelectric pain. Oh, so we just take the photoelectric pain. Oh, I don't have one. Do I have enough to make another one? Yes. Actually, I should have enough to make a few. Yeah, okay. 
so one will do for now and then let's head over to the end i think this is how you do it right you could also do it with that compacting thing with the eye of ender but this way is easier if i can find an enderman Nope. Oh no. Wait, that's, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> it's this one. Boop. Okay. Is that ender lens? Where is it? Hey, what happened to it? Okay, for some reason it didn't work. When I right clicked it on an enderman. But this worked. Okay, so now we put solar panel on there and the lens on there. Oh, it's night time. That's not going to help. And now we should be able to completely automate this guy. Okay, he's getting power. So let's get... Actually, oh, I need an advanced connector. Let's get an advanced connector, whatever that thing is called, upgrade. Uh, we don't need any of you for now. Uh, what is it? This guy. Oh, do I have all of that stuff? I don't think I have all of that stuff. Oh, I do have all of that stuff. Good. Wait, did that work? Where's my paper? There we go. Just need the one. Okay, and then... Let's get some holes going. Uh, I think, I think that, yeah, that goes all the way through, but that's fine. We can, we can figure out the roof later on. So we put, oh, not a connector there. We put the connector there. Let's get that other guy back. And then we put there. And then, oh, actually, because we also want to get, oh no, that's right. Uh, and then the connector there, up there. Uh, let me get another drawer, because we want somewhere for the, the charcoal to go. Okay, so I think I will just use the drawer controller here to put charcoal in there. Um, but first of all, what we need is this guy needs to be upgraded. Nope, not right. Shift right click. Just, huh? You got a shift right click? There we go. Um, okay, so now we need to take out from here. We want to extract. Uh spruce logs out of there and insert them into the top of there so that should put spruce logs into the top only right and then that'll give us charcoal out so we want to put the take the charcoal out which means from the bottom air yeah, down we, uh, where are we here? We grab charcoal extract from the bottom and insert into here. Okay, so all the charcoal that we output should go in there. Uh, let's give it some more to get it going. Okay. I think you get more SU if this is a blast furnace, but um, smelting uh, wood is so much easier. <laughs> um, okay, and then we want to extract uh, item extract charcoal from here and insert it into one of the sides. So if I put that piece of charcoal back, it should go in there. Yes. So now what will happen is it'll take the charcoal out and then it'll put it in there, and then it'll immediately put it back in there. We'll get an excess of charcoal though, so we put a void upgrade there. So eventually this will fill up with charcoal, 
this will be uh, definitely full of spruce because there's way more spruce being produced than we'll ever need. And this will just run indefinitely. Oh, I threw away my Jasper. I'll have to cover this back up again. Um, okay, so now what we can do is actually maybe we want to move that over one more so that it's like in line with this. Yeah, let me do that. But the other thing we're going to do is we're going to take down this guy because we no longer need it. So yeah, let me do that. Right click there. Break you, break you. Break you. Break you. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> okay. Let me get, uh, whoops. I'm stuck. Let me get that moved out one more. Okay, and then we can put a vertical guy there. That should power everything. Okay, now stress is quite low. Uh, we can get rid of all of this stuff and have it always hooked up, right? See how fast we can crank it all the way. Oh, we can't crank it all the way. Wow. 139. 128 we can crank it. Though. That's still pretty high. That's higher than what we had before, right? Uh, yeah, these guys still use way heaps and heaps. It's like 256 each. That's a lot. <laughs> um... Okay, so that's good. I'm going to have to set up another one of these guys because we have another, like I've, I've cleared out this area. This is where we're going to do all our create automation. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna probably make another one so that we can just have just this room off of this one. And then we'll have uh, this room off of another one. It, that, that room won't have to go as fast because it's not like on demand stuff. We don't care how fast it goes. Yeah, but that's going to be it for today's episode. I think in the next episode, or between episodes, I'm going to slow this down so we won't connect it directly to this fast line. We'll connect it to a slightly slower line uh, because we don't need it to be going that fast. We don't use it that much. And 256 per crafter is way too much. I'd much rather this guy to be going a lot faster. So I think that's what I'll do between episodes just so that we can continue using the one... Uh, whatever that guy's called. Um, and then in the next episode, we're going to work on renewable uh, plastic and maybe some of these create automations as well. I don't know. We'll see what we have time for. But thanks a lot for watching. I am uh, about to lose my voice, so I'm going to have to stop here. <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.